Okay, so today we're talking about confidence and the things that can affect confidence and what you can hopefully do about it in a fairly short space of time. Now, hopefully you can see this, but the things that, I mean, there's obviously a lot of things that are going to be outside of this that will contribute to people's confidence, um, the, the level of confidence that they've got. And there'll be some things on here that people really relate to, some things that people think, well, that's got nothing to do with it. But this is things that I've put together uh, from conversations I've had with uh, clients and then the changes that I've seen in those people, and like I say, in really short spaces of time. So one of the main things is body image. Um, the food that we eat, if that's emotional eating because of a lack of confidence, so then we, we try and uh, mask that or, or, or reward ourselves with food, which then makes the problem even worse because the no one comfort eats salmon and salad. They comfort eat chocolate and biscuits and things like that, which will contribute to weight. So we've got weight on here. That's a big thing for some people, which obviously relates to body image. Um, your associates, the people that you're around most of the time, you know, what impact are they having on you? If you surround yourself with negative people, that is then going to drag you down and that will lower your confidence because your confidence is just, your self-esteem is... Every, every little thing that we do that we sort of know we shouldn't do, it just chips away at that. So we, we can build our self-confidence by moving ourselves in the right direction. If we don't, if we're not proactive about it, most of the time we will only ever do things that will chip away at that, uh, at that bank account, as it were. Uh, feeling like you're stood still, feeling like there's no momentum to your life. The work that you do, is that fulfilling? Is that contributing to your... Um, self-esteem have you not had a, a, a promotion in so long people that joined the company before you've been promoted and you've sort of been left behind it ties into this stood still but the work that you're doing is that contributing to your self-esteem uh, your sense of contribution do you feel like you're actually giving something to the world the thoughts that you have again ties in with the uh, the negative feelings that we get potentially by the associates that we're around I put associates rather than friends, I mean it could be your friends, it could be your partner, it could be the people that are closest to you. Your sense of success, now this is different for everybody. Um, you don't have to be Richard Branson to feel like you're a success, but your sense of success, is that something that's, feel, that's chipping away at your um, self-esteem? Your personality, are you quite withdrawn because you're... Um, because of all these other things that are contributing to your personality. You, you don't feel like you're the person you used to be. Um, do you feel isolated? Do you, know, do you not want to go and join a gym because you feel like you'll be the only person there that doesn't know what they're doing? Or that's, um, you know, that, that's the, you're going to be the most unfit person there or the biggest person there? Well, maybe you will be, but if you don't want to do something about it, you always will be. Uh, your posture, how you hold yourself, you know, do you shrink away because of whatever? You know, if you're a bigger person, um, you know the clothes that you wear a lot of the time the clothes are not clothes they're like um, I can't think of the word but to mask yourself you're covering yourself and that's going to lower your self-esteem because you're always that's a quite a negative thing if you're always hiding um, your education do you feel that that's something that's contributing to your self-esteem and therefore your confidence because you don't feel like you're educated enough in I'm not talking about GCSEs and things like that I'm just talking about things that you would like to know about um, Drink obviously ties into food. Are you an emotional drinker? Do you, you drink to um, make up for um, poor confidence? I know a lot of people that do this. Um, any sense of achievement sort of ties in with um, success, I guess. But you know, do you feel like you're achieving all of these things? If there's anything here that's not um, as good as it could be, it will be chipping away at your self-esteem, at your confidence. Okay, but the good news is we can do a lot of, lot of things about this if you've got the right help. But well, the first thing is try and change your associates. The people that you're hang, not necessarily hanging around with, but obviously at Prime Mover we have a lot of people who are all on the same journey. Um, we've recently set up, um, there's two groups that we're running, two secret groups that we're basically organised on Facebook. Prime Mover members but they get access. Everyone had a chance to get in on it. Some people decided to, some people didn't. The ones that have, it's just amazing. I'm, I'm kicking myself for not setting these things up long, long ago because the, um, the interaction that's happening between the people in these groups is just amazing. And this has really boosted my um, belief in 
having this network of people around you that you can, you know, if you're having a bad day, you can tell them. If you're having a good day, you can tell them. Um, so changing the associates you have. If you know, if you're training at Virgin and feeling like you're the only person, if you're if you're feeling isolation because you're at Virgin, get down to Prime Movement and see what that what what it's like to have those different people around you that are on that journey. The food that you eat, you can change that literally like within a minute if you know what you're doing. As soon as you change the food that you're eating, you start eating the right food and you start eliminating the drink, the weight or the body image is going to change straight away. Within a few days, you're going to start to see a difference on here. You'll, you won't feel like you should still anymore. Um, potentially, a few months down the line, when you, um, you, know, you really become this new person with this big boost in confidence, it, potentially, I can't guarantee this of course, but it might have an impact on your work, which would then have an impact on your contribution and your success. You're going to think differently. Uh, you'll hold yourself differently with the posture. Your sense of achievement will go up. Education, like the food, you know, feed your brain. Whatever it is that you're interested in, start to learn about it. Create new habits, and I've never mentioned that before. The habits that you've got, do you have negative habits that are chipping away at your confidence? Change your habits. Your habits would be eating the right foods and um, training three times a week, four times a week, five times a week with the right type of training around the right type of people. I right? can put exercise on here, exercise should be on there of course. The clothes that you wear are gonna change because your body's changed and you're not trying to hide it anymore. And that will all change your personality. So, if you can make simple changes to your daily life that are gonna have such a massive impact on your confidence, why wouldn't you? I'll see you soon.